Hi, this is Ilma Arts uh, Studios photograph for today, and that is a sunset in one of the provincial parks in Ontario. Hi, check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. That's I L M A A R T S dot com. And today I'd like to share with you my poem devotional extracted from Hebrews 2, verse 1. It says, So we must listen very carefully to the truth we have heard, or we may drift away from it. And here's my essay, at uh, my poem. Listen carefully. Do you spend time in the Word? Only through scriptures can you conquer the world. You must listen carefully to the truth you have heard. It will make you understand God's ways and learn. Seek the Lord first and follow what He says. If you do, you have protection from being swayed. Spend time regularly to read the Bible. It will bring you victory and make you a survivor. Here's my essay. When we love someone, we always want to spend time with that person. When we have developed a strong bond with each other through constant connection, we make the foundation of our relationship with that person stronger and more stable. It is the same concept when you relate with God. When you are constantly in His Word, you are able to hear what He wants you to know. You develop intimacy with the Lord. The Bible says that we must listen very carefully to the truth that He has, that, that we hear from His Word, or we may drift away from it. We cannot hear what He says if we don't spend time in prayer and studying His truth. So we must listen so we can hear what he wants to reveal. Prayer. Lord, let me fo focus on you always. Reflection. How intimate is your relationship with the Lord? Um, this is really a very nice verse to uh, ponder on because how often are we um, wrapped up in so many distractions in our world today. There's so many things that we uh, we are um, contending with when it comes to, uh, like now I'm a stay-home stay wife, and um, but I, I, I do full-time uh, writing and full-time studying and also doing um, uh, my art. And just sometimes just a day and I'm sure a lot of other uh, people have their own um, distractions in their life um, just like especially young mothers there are so many things that they have to run around with just to be able to juggle the time with their children their their husbands and or their wives and so on so I think it's not really how much time we spend with God that is important, but the quality of the time that we spend with God. Um, and um, I think spending time with God is actually conversing with God, just like how we would converse with our spouses if we're married, with our boyfriends or girlfriends, or with our brothers or sisters, with our parents. and when they try to tell us something and we don't listen to them it um, brings about it, it brings a certain distance how we relate with 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 the people that we we love you know so I think that the only way that we will be able to hear what God is saying is by being in his word because it is through his word that God speaks to us so when he speaks to us through his word and you know but the bible is not like any other work any other book that you will just read and then and then that's it 
but the Bible is alive. Like when you read it, it teaches you stuff. It convicts you. It, it makes you realize things that you never used to. And and you you know what the secret is like all the by all the books that you probably have read most likely a part of the book that you have read has taken something out from the bible because the bible is the wisest book and and everything that you need to know about life is there so why would we not want to open the book that will free us from all kinds of bondages from all kinds of fear from all kinds of slavery so I invite you to spend time with the Lord this is the only way you can be intimate with the Lord and this is the only way that you will be able to learn the character of God and what he wants for us and all the promises that he wants to give to us so thanks for watching and I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com and have a blessed blessed day